everybody today i'm going to teach you how to solve this cube i ordered this cube a few weeks ago and learned it in a day and practiced a lot and now i'm going to teach you how to solve it just before we start i'm going to scramble my cube so i will be back So my cube is scrambled and this is how it might look when your cube is scrambled. So our first step to solve this cube is to make the white layer. You can make any color layer but if you make the white side it would be um, it would be easier to follow what I'm doing. So first our step our first step is to find the white center so we can start making a layer. So let me just find my white center. Here is my white center right here. So when you find the white center you must keep the white center on the uh, on the top. So here is my white center on the top and and it's nice that one of the corners are already is already attached to the white center so if one if this happens to you that one or more corners are attached to your white squared center then look at the two colors uh, beside the white uh, corner so uh, my two colors are red and blue so these are my two colors now on the bottom layer i need to find a red or a blue color piece on the bottom and it uh, it should have it should have red or white red white or blue white so let me just find my corner piece it can't be this one because it has orange orange white and green white and we don't have any of those colors right here except white this is a yellow corner so it can't be this not all it can't also be this this is our correct corner because it has red white so if the corner is facing you when your uh, the correct corner is facing is on the bottom left then you can just move this up and it would be solved but if that didn't happen to you you would have to do something different which i will show you later and maybe it would just appear here so our next step could be to find a piece which has white blue on it or green white so let me just find my piece so here i found a blue white piece and again uh, uh, let's just pretend that here was a solved corner and this is facing on and uh, this is facing to you and if you are if you are confused that uh, no if no corner is solved here or here but it is a corner is solved here but this is the wrong corner so just pretend that here was a solved corner so i am pretending that this here was a solved corner and uh, this white sticker faces me so i can just move this up and it would be correct so my last corner piece is these two which i just found right here and uh, here is my left uh, bottom left and no white sticker right here but if you just make uh, if you just pretend that this was solved uh, this is uh, if you just choose this as your bottom left this would be in a different position but still facing in the front so we can just move this up so none of the special cases appeared 
but if something like this happens to you then this is very easy to do so i just made my white layer so here is the white layer and this is how a white layer looks like on it on a different cube it would look like this so if if you were confused in the beginning don't worry this is how a white layer looks like and it's very easy to make it here so here i will show you the special cases now so now i'm going to show you the cases which are a little complicated to solve so now one of the corners like the last uh, like last time is solved so i need to find a red white or blue white corner piece and here i found one and again pretend that this uh, corner is solved if you pick this as your left uh, bottom left corner and see this white sticker is facing you you can just move that up and it would be solved so i need to find another uh, white corner piece so now let me find it on the bottom i don't have any white corner piece and if you have something like this that no white corner key pieces are on the bottom then it would probably be on the top so here are my two white pieces that are supposed to be in their place but twist so i can put this corner down here or here so i will just put it down here you can put it on both places but i chose this so now if i pick this as my bottom layer uh, bottom left solved piece then i would have to look that if there are white stickers facing me so there are no white stickers facing me because the white sticker is on the bottom it's not even on the other side so if it's on the bottom you would need to it up and then to the other side so right on the opposite side uh, remember when i told you can move this right here or here it would be better if you move it right here because then you will have a easier step but if you decided to move it here you should definitely know this case because if you wouldn't you will be confused what to do so we once again we moved twice and then we put it to the opposite side so now if i pick this as the solved uh, the bottom left solved piece and the white is still facing me but if i move it up it would go in its correct place but the colors wouldn't be matching and the piece that we already solved would be out so this is a special clue case so i would need to twist this corner and the way to properly twist this corner is to put your index finger on the front and put the middle finger in the bottom or at the bottom and your thumb at the right side and then twist it to uh, turn this layer turn this whole thing to your right hand and we usually hold it on the uh, we usually hold it diagonally to make a turning a little easier so that's why you must have noticed that i'm turn holding the cube diagonally so now it's in the correct position and we can move it back up so it would be solved so now i need to find my other white corner piece and this time it's not on the top so i know for sure that it's on the bottom because all my white corner pieces are solved except one so let me just find my white corner piece and here i found it so it's the same thing now here if you pretend that this is your so uh, bottom left solved corner and the white is white uh, uh, color is facing you and you would just move it up it would go in its correct place but again it's not the colors are not matching and it would remove the corner which we already solved so we will do the same thing twist the corner move it up but you have noticed that this uh, is not at this place anymore 
so uh, uh, if this happens you just need to put this right corner uh, you just need to fix this right corner again so it would just you need to put it up so now our first step is done the white layer is solved and i have taught you all of the cases so now we will be going to the second step which is make all the yellow corners facing up so this is our white layer we must put our white layer on the bottom so the yellow center faces up so to make all of these corners face up we would need to i would need to teach you some things so there could be two cases here one two corners facing up diagonally so it could be this one and this one or this one and this one so it could be it could be two corners facing up or this case which we have right here or four we need, we will have four corners not facing up so this is the case which we have we have the second case so i will teach you how to solve this there's one thing i need to teach you before we get started which is headlights headlights are two pieces that look like a pair of colors together so like this one so the green green orange orange blue blue and red red so i need to find a yellow yellow uh, headlight piece so let me just find it it can't be this one because these are two separate colors it also can't be this one because again it's two separate colors this is also two separate colors and this is two same colors so yellow yellow we don't matter in this it doesn't matter in this case if the, uh, the yellow corner is not solved so like the up the on the top colors are not solved that's okay so we must hold the headlights on the right hand side and the other two pieces that look on the opposite side so here and here so we need to hold these on the left so now we are going to perform our first algorithm and algorithms are sequence of moves that change the uh, pieces orientation uh, orientation meaning that the position or how they are turned so these it switches all the pieces and moves moves pieces around so this is what an algorithm does so again we must hold the headlights on the right and then perform our first algorithm which is very simple so you hold your middle finger on the left index finger on the top and thumb on the front and then move down and then the same thing but mirrored so uh, middle finger on the left and the index finger on the top and thumb on the front and then we move down and then we will do the opposite thing so holding in the same way but moving up from the other side and then uh, just on the other side we move it up also so this is this was our sequence of moves that made all of the white corners face up so let me just show you the other case i was talking about where only two corners would be facing up so let me just show you how that would look like so this is how it would look like two diagonal yellow pieces facing up and the other two facing down so you can hold this in two different ways these corners the two yellow corners on the the bottom corner is supposed to face uh, on the bottom left and the upper corner is supposed to be on the uh, up right so this is one way you 
can fold it and the other way is the same thing but on the other side because diagonal pieces can be in two different ways but looking the same so I can hold it like this but how do I know if this is the correct way we are supposed to hold it so you must find the yellow the two color yellow pieces that are supposed to fa uh, one of them is supposed to be facing towards me and one of them facing on the left side so here they are different colors but not yellow so I must turn the other way around and see if those yellow pieces are here and if it wasn't on the other side if there weren't two yellow colors here it means that it would be on the other side so here are my two yellow colors one facing towards me and one facing on the left so this is how we properly hold to do this algorithm so we will do the same thing we did for four corners none of the corners pointing up so we must perform the same algorithm so down down up up so we did it once and we have to do it twice but not in the same position so i am holding it in the same position but we need to now this is the case where none of the corners were facing up and i need to find the two headlights so when you practice a lot you will already know that the headlights will be on the back so you just turn once to the left so you turn your cube to the left and then the headlights will already be in their correct position so we will do the same algorithm we did seconds ago so we will do the same algorithm down down up up so i have taught you all the cases that we have to do to make all the yellow corners face up third step would be to make the yellow center on top so here is the green center but we need the yellow center on the top so to make the yellow center on top we must find the yellow center so this is these are not yellow centers this is not this is a yellow center so i need to hold the yellow center on the back so here's my yellow center on the back and we will do the same algorithm down down up up now this has been broken but remember that we had to make the headlights on the right but these are on the left so we turn 180 degrees to make them on the left and uh, sorry on the right and then we do the same algorithm again down down up up so now our yellow center is on the top so now our final step would be to solve the rest so to solve the rest there might be three cases right here so the first case is very easy and the first case will be that you only have to solve three centers so i have the first case right here the three centers case and one of uh, and three of them are solved so i need to hold the opposite color side to myself now how do i know this that this is a opposite color so to show this to explain this in a better way i will uh, show it on a different case so to explain this you need a solved cube and then turn it twice so this is once and twice and just do the same thing over and over again and you will notice that there are only two colors on every side and those will be the opposite colors so here my opposite colors are so let's start with the color that i already talked about so green center green and blue green and blue colors on the green side we can only see green and blue and uh, sorry green and blue so here i can also see green and blue 
that's how I know that this is an opposite color and we will go to the next side and this is and here we can only see red and uh, red and orange so when there will be a case like red and orange this would this would be an opposite color this is the same thing but on the blue side and this is the same thing but on the orange side so now on the yellow center piece. So on the yellow side, we can only see white and yellow. And on the white center side, it's just the same but uh, different because this is the white side. So we can only see white and yellow. So this is how I know that this is an opposite color. So the, this is not the only one as I, uh, as I showed. There are three different opposite colors. So this is our opposite color and we hold the opposite color in the on the front. So we perform the same algorithm that we learned, which was a, if you turn it into directions, it would be down, down, up, up. So it would be easier to learn this way. So we do perform the same algorithm down, down, up, up, and then we need to we need to have our headlights on the right but the headlights now are not on the right they're on the left so we need to turn 180 degrees so the headlight will be on the right so we will perform the same algorithm again down down up up so our skew is solved but remember there were two other cases so let me jump let me just show you the other two cases so this is the second case where two centers need to switch their place so these this orange and green center need to switch their place and blue and red need to switch their place so this is the second case so we would need here we can hold this on any side so we can uh, we can hold it like this 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 or this so we can hold it in many ways but we can't hold it like this or this of course because then these sides will break and then uh, you will have to do, uh, solve the whole thing again so so we will hold it in any way. I just chose to hold it in this way. And then we will perform the same algorithm. So that I'm going to perform it. Down, down, up, up. And then we need the headlights on the right, but they are on the left. So we need to turn 180 degrees. And now the headlights on the are on the right. So need, we need to do the algorithm once. So we will do it again. Down down up up so we did the algorithm and now we will get the case where we had to solve the three center uh, the three center pieces so these are my three center pieces and again this was this is a double color as as i explained earlier so orange orange red red so this is a opposite color or double color there are two words for the same thing so we hold the opposite color on the front and we will perform the same algorithm again down down up up and then we need the headlights on the on the right but they are on the left so we will turn 180 degrees and the headlights are on the right so we can do the algorithm again so i will do it again down down up up and our cube is solved once again but there was there is one more case left so i will show you how to do the last case So this is the last case with all of the centers having opposite color. So this is an opposite color. 
this is an opposite color this is an opposite color and this is an opposite color so these are all opposite colors so you can again hold this in any way so i just decide to hold it like this and it wouldn't matter any way you hold so we will perform the same algorithm again so down down up up and then we need the headlights on the right but they are on the left so we would need to turn 180 degrees and now the headlights on the and headlights are on the right so we will we can perform the algorithm again so the algorithm goes like this down down up up so now again we will get the three center pieces that need to be solved so this is the opposite color so the opposite color is supposed to be in the front so i i have my opposite color in the front and then we can perform the algorithm again so the algorithm is down down up up and then we need the headlights on the right but they are on the left so we need to turn 180 degrees and now the headlights are on the right so we can do the algorithm once again so the algorithm is down down up up so our cube is solved so i hope you learned something new and be sure to share this to other people because they also might need want to learn this cube so please share and like if you want to see more of me Bye.